These days, you can find camcorders at your local electronics store that record your video in a variety of formats. The camcorders that record directly onto a DVD usually compress their videos using the same MPEG-2 formats used in full-size burn DVDs. At the top of the consumer line, you can find camcorders based on a new high-performance format known as AVCHD, Advanced Video Codec High Definition. Other high-end models allow you to switch between HDV, which is not true HD, but has enough lines of resolution to work well on HDTV, and standard-defined digital video, commonly known as plain old DV. But there are still plenty of camcorders available that only record in standard DV and store their video on many DV tapes. When choosing a camcorder, you must first consider whether you will need to do any editing, and if so, whether your editing software supports the format on the camcorder you're considering. If you plan to do anything beyond the most basic editing, it's probably a good idea at this point to buy a camcorder that captures video in the standard DV format and records that video on a mini DV tape. This is a combination supported by just about every editing software package and computer camcorder interface. When you are creating video for the web, the resolution of your camcorder is not too important. The compression necessary to produce efficient web video will limit the resolution of that video more than your camcorder will. Of course, it never hurts to start with the highest possible resolution. You will be able to see the difference in the web video, but it's a matter of debate whether that slight improvement is worth the higher cost of the higher resolution camcorder. <laughs> the real weak point in consumer camcorders lies in their audio capabilities. The combination of a built-in microphone, which might be far away from your subject, and the consumer camcorder's automatic control at the microphone's recording level, Auto Gain Control, or AGC, is a recipe for disaster. During periods when the audio you want to capture is absent, the AGC will boost the recording level very high, looking for some sound to record. Invariably, the only sound to record is background noise and the sound of your camcorder's motor. Here's an example of audio recorded with automatic control of the audio level. Some camcorders have a jack for an external microphone. Adding an external microphone will help, but you will still encounter the problems created by the AGC. Many of the more expensive prosumer camcorders allow you to switch to manual control of the audio recording level. One final audio option for the ambitious video producer. You could set up some good quality audio recording gear and capture a separate audio recording at the same time you're shooting the video. You can combine this separate audio with your video even in basic editing software such as iMovie HD which is included with all new Macs. It's not easy. It requires some thought and practice and thorough knowledge of your editing software. Or you could outsource the video and audio syncing to a professional video editor. So, if you can find a camcorder with an external microphone jack manual control of audio recording levels, and using the standard DV format, you have an ideal camcorder for producing web video. Since this will most likely be one of the high-end prosumer models, you might want to consider shopping for a good used model. eBay is the obvious solution, but take extra care that your seller has a solid reputation. High-end camcorders are a prime target for scam artists. On the other hand, these well-maintained high-end camcorders hold their value very well. You might even be able to buy one, use it for a year, and then sell it for the same price you originally paid.